Let's take a look at how to design this minimalist headphone hanger. I like to start with a sketch, nothing fancy, just showing what I wanted. I wanted this little semicircle. I'm gonna use command strips or two screws to mount it, and that's it. As far as measurements go, we'll need a height and a width, but that's about it. Everything else we'll figure out in Fusion. So we've jumped into Fusion. We're gonna make a arc. And I'm going to give it a point, which I want to be vertical to that origin. And I want these guys all to be horizontal. And I can hit V for dimension. Give this that height that we were looking at, which was 20. And this was 90. And then I'll Go and grab a line to complete that shape. Now I can hit E for extrude. And here's one last dimension that I need. So I basically want the thickness of the headphones, which in my case, I chose 40 millimeters. That's what I put in here, 40 millimeters. That's the basic shape. Uh, essentially, if we stuck that on the wall, uh, we'd be able to hang our headphones, um, but we need a way to get it on the wall. You could just slap a command strip on the back. That would work, but we want to put some screws through here. And so I have some generic screws from a kit from Ikea, and we're going to put those on the front face here. And I'm only going to put one, and we'll see what we do there. So I'm going to put a point, and I'll finish that. And then we can create a hole with the hole tool. And I want a counter bore. Select this face here. And I want it to coincide with that point. And now we have some dimensions that we need to choose. And I'm going to measure the screw directly and basically give it a little bit of clearance on these holes. So the top of my screw is 8.75. I'm going to call it 9.25. Oh, I do that a lot where I hit enter and I don't mean to. 9.25. I want to go through the entire thing, so I'm actually going to go through all, which eliminates some of these dimensions that I need to input. The depth of the head is three millimeters. I'm going to call it four. So I have nothing sticking out. There I go again, pressing enter. Four of depth, and then the diameter of the actual threads, the OD or outer diameter, 4.33. We'll just give it a five millimeter clearance. So that looks pretty good. I'll hit. Okay, and then I want a second one because if I just do this one here, I still have the possibility of this thing rotating on the wall. Um, and I don't want that, so it could, it could still spin. That's not a very good example, but it could spin around that hole, and I don't want that. So we're going to mirror that feature, that hole. And we want to mirror it about one of these origin faces. No, nope, not that. Oh. Here's where I start to miss SolidWorks because I just, I knew how to do everything over there or I felt like I knew how to do most things. There we go, that's what I want. Okay, so now we have two holes for our screws, which is great, but I don't quite like how flat this top surface is. I kind of want it to be a little bit of a, a curve in so that it'll actually hold on to the headphones and they won't slide off um, when I don't want them to. So what we're going to do there is make a new sketch and we're going to be on that plane there in the middle again. 
And we're just going to put a little curve or a little arc. In here. So make those coincident. And those guys. That's all coincident. And then we can kind of just drag this to wherever we want it. I don't want it to be super exaggerated, so I need to complete this profile. One, there we go. So now we can actually control that distance. We're only going in by one and we'll finish that. So there we go. And now I want to cut that out along the entire profile of this, uh, this part here. But these corners, so I want a little bit of a rounded look here. Two works. And then we're going to do a sweep of the profile. I want to see this guy. Profile. And then path. There we go. Boom. All right. So we've gone all the way around. So we kind of have like a slight, I don't need it across the bottom. I just think it makes for a more uniform look. And I know that I'm going to print it in this orientation. So it doesn't cause any issues. Like if I want to print it flat, then I would have left the bottom flat. But I like the idea of it curving all the way around. And so basically at this point, we have a completed hanger. Um, I might just want to put a couple extra fillets across the top and these holes here. I don't want to put it on that back face because that's going to be against the wall. So I'd rather keep that flat. And then we'll see how far it'll let me go before it fails. So 1.5. There we go. There we go, that's our wall hanger. So let's send this off to the printer. Now I've got it printed, I've got those screws in there. You can see how far they stick out. And I've got one installed already on the wall for those guys. And I'm just gonna add this guy on top for that. I'm going straight into the drywall. I'm not using any anchors. Uh, these headphones are about 250 grams uh, each and so that's pretty light. I'm not too worried about them pulling out. I can put a, a decent amount of weight on this guy with the headphones and I'm not too worried about it ripping out or anything. I'm not, I'm not pulling on this thing when I place these. I'm just putting them on the wall. So let's get this guy screwed in and we'll show you what that looks like. They also work for these Audio Technicas um, if you have them facing outwards like that, but don't love the look of those on there. You can get away with also just adding them like that, but then you're kind of only pressing against the corners, which I don't love, but that's another option. So if you like that one, I'll put a link to the file in the description and I'll see you in the next one.